Hey guys, I'm John. This is Eric. And we are... See? He's not used to when it gets thrown at him. d and &E. I'm slow pitching here. It's, it's, on, it's on a tee. Miniature and board games, folks. See, he doesn't, can't even remember to say it. No, I could say it, but I was trying to get him involved because on the last time we did something, he like almost broke a toe. So I just wanted to make sure that, you know, he was oh, just into it today because today we have tiny epic dinosaurs, which you'll get to see when we come back. Welcome! So, tiny epic dinosaurs. How many of these tiny epic games are you going to buy, John? Do you just have a tiny shelf at your tiny house to hold these tiny games? Pretty much. That's the way it goes. Tiny you notice, you notice he didn't even defend against the tiny house. No. Because he doesn't have a tiny house. Well, we might have a tiny house. I mean, you're a big guy, so it might look smaller to you. I don't know. That's right. It's, it's small. That's right. One bedroom, 25 square foot. That's all you need. It's a port john and it can be pulled behind your car. So, back to um, Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, which is why we're here, because I'm going to just go right here and say, I know I'm excited for this for my kids, because... Because this is the Deluxe Edition. That's right. Everybody likes the special Deluxe sticker that stays there until you open it, and then you don't know it's Deluxe. Now, I'm going to say that I, I have liked the Tiny Epic games that we've played. The only thing that I see with them most of the time is the fact that it seems like the rule book goes out of its way to complicate it. Yeah, to make something extremely easy seem extremely hard. Yes. No, I and that is definitely one of the people still have some bad taste in their mouth from a few of the games like the zombies some people had difficulty with that one um the last two that we've played i think have been a little more polished on the confusion level you so, have any problems here it's, yeah it's it's nice and snug because we're gonna have all that beautiful artwork tiny epic dinosaurs See, that's epic right there that's probably your helmet that got left are you saying that I would run, run away? Uh, I'd say the dinosaur would eat you. That's not very nice. Who said dinosaurs are nice? Jurassic Park. Well, that's true. That's true. They were all loving non-meat eaters. Well, I will say this has a little bit of girth to it, as we're used to the, uh, the rules of the ranch. So we've got our components. Tiny Epic Games do not have Tiny Epic rule books. No, they do not. We've got two pages of game setup. A small game overview. There's a small game and a large game? Apparently so. So there's a Tiny Epic small game and a Tiny Epic large game. Hey, but you get to feed the dinosaurs. And I hope you can feed the dinosaurs other characters. But I don't think that's how this works. I don't know. I've played some Tiny Epic games and I think it might work that way. <laughs> oh, this one you get to uh, breed the dinosaurs too. Oh, and do we have, what I don't do you know. you get with a Stegosaurus and a T-Rex? Do we get aliens? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, there we go. We got the end game scoring and then uh, this one here does have, which they've started doing uh, more of the solo gameplay. There's two different ones. You get the survival and then the regular. Um, ranch so there we go and an faq because they know there will be some confusion folks confusion isn't it a, but isn't it amazing they already have a fact an faq page i mean so you just did the rules and sent it out and you already know there's problems well so where that comes from um is one of the things that that goes on with the Tiny Epic Games is when it goes on to Kickstarter, they do put out beta versions um, and previews of the rules that they get feedback from. So as people are asking about Star Wars,
Oh wait, that's not what we were talking about. So they do receive questions that you know they're able to now go in and ask a few things to try and clear up some of uh, what may be that fog that we uh, see in other ones. So can you name the types of dinosaurs? That's the question without looking them up. Blue, yellow, red, green, purple. Very good, very good, very good folks. We've got the Stegosaurus, the Brachiosaurus, the Velociraptor, the Allosaurus, which is the red. Why do I have two different sized meeple guys? <laughs> uh, but then there are unique dinosaurs. All the purple are unique, so they're all different ones that are in there that aren't um, a specific type. So that's uh, one of the interesting things. So you got 15 of each uh, dinosaur for the other ones and then 15 unique ones. Um, we've got the nice uh, first player token and the uh, round marker, which is right here. The, that is the I Love Dinos Coffee. And this is going to be the, that's the expansion. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we're done with the meeples? No, you're fine. I just wanted to open this up to see if is I Is the could... leaf food? The leaf is a... That is a plant marker. And then we have turkey legs. Those are meat markers. Oh. Carnivore, herbivore. And, and then, then you I'm, have supply... I'm assuming these are fencing, right? Those are the barriers. And then you have the uh, supply markers. The crates. Right. And then there should be somewhere... Is the uh, Wrangler die in there? No. The what? Oh, there it is. This is the Wrangler die. Ooh, that's an egg. And that's a dead. And that's in those nets. You've been netted. You've been bamboozled. <laughs> so we've got the scoring. We've got the round with the phases on here. Uh, let's see what else we have. So we've got the research mat. And cards. Hmm. Looks like they are same either way. We've got the ranch mats. Uh huh. This looks kind of epic, but tiny. It's yes, it's it's very tiny. And don't ask me why I said it that way. Yeah, you've got your different player mats here that you set up. Which are apparently two-sided. They are all two-sided. That's pretty neat. And here we've got contracts, private contracts, full contracts. Where's the government contracts? There's the... Now here's the difference. No. Um, here are the private contracts, just so you know. Oh, thank you. See, these are the type of things you have for private contracts. You must get points, apparently, if you get these type of an animals. That makes sense. And apparently the purple ones are genetically engineered. Oh, and the public ones? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. See, the public, you have a lot more. Well, that would make sense. There's a lot more public people than the private. That didn't work well for you, did it? No, no, it did not. I was trying to so read the difference. That's things. what it looks like. I mean, I'm not sure, but it looks like once you get to a, you get points possibly once you get a certain amount of dinosaurs created on your ranch. Considering there are stars here, or maybe you buy the put those points to get those dinosaurs on your ranch I don't know I am speculating folks the game will take place over six rounds so in there you're gonna collect resources assign ranchers retrieve ranchers arrange your ranch feed your dinosaurs breed your dinosaurs and refresh for the next round so and we have the genetic manipulation here apparently we have an ink uh, egg incubator Incubator. Mobile barriers, 
resource converter, rancher biometrics, security force, enclosure upgrades, laboratory upgrade, Adreno injectors, breeding center, university sponsor, dino food, superfood, carnivore food, herbivore food, log by the way, maximum habitat, Ooh. I can't pronounce it, I really can't pronounce it, I won't try to pronounce it, maybe you'll pronounce it later, somewhere we'll pronounce it, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Something asaurus. Dilophosaurus, Philoposaurus, Paradactyl. Oh, the Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, ter Triceratops. See, those are things that I'm I can actually, you know. I'm glad you're able to do that. So you went through the research cards. I just haven't got to the rival ranchers yet. No, rival ranchers are important. Well, then let's see what the Rival Ranchers Rival look like. Rival Ranchers! I'm sensing it going alphabetical. Rival Ranchers. Yay! A, B, C, D. And, so the one thing they do have set up here, which I was trying to figure out what the name of it is. Is this is two sided here, um, and it, it's A B C D, so it goes in with your uh, arrival ranchers to set up. But for the different sides, you have one to two player side, or one to three player here. Mm -hmm. And well, then when you flip, flip it over, over, you have a three to four player for those two, and, and four, players. four player ones. So it gives you your different variants that you have. Cool. So. so let's check out that expansion over there that you, uh, you've been so excited about. Yes, the laboratory. Aerial survivor, a fossil museum, and the game Ladon. Fantastic. And there is the Mosasasaurus. So this is the laboratory mini expansion. It gives you a nice two page setup of how to start your laboratory. Because each player will get a laboratory mat. Here's your laboratory mat. It is labeled with laboratory. Okay. And you will move your microscope along the path that matches the beaker's color as you continue to advance at the start of each turn. And what do we have here? We've got a couple more dinosaurs. Oh, look at that. You have your microscope. Whoa, research. What is this expansion called? Laboratory. Laboratory, okay. Laboratory. So are you excited? Of course. And there's even a solo mode on the uh, laboratory expansion. So if you were curious, could you play do you want those in here or you want to put those in that one? I'll put it in here because they're so small. I mean, they're so tiny. It's too epic to have together. Because you know, I'm, I am I was slowly throwing things. Well, not throwing. Placing. We use the word placing things together. Placing strategically. I'll put those here. So I'll put those there. Right there. Yeah. All right. So... There you have it. Uh, again, the, this is Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. It's one to four players. 30 to 60 minutes is the time frame that they say. And this one, don't think it is for your young kids until you've mastered it because they do give it an age rating of 14 plus. Because apparently the dinosaurs eat things. And they have babies. So, support your local gaming folks. We support 
Discover Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Game on, everybody. Keep on gaming.